Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing about the module 3 super important question of the SADP which is regarding the chain of responsibilities. Make sure you know this, it has a diagram as well and a very important question for example and a few. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Before starting, make sure you the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And the first uh, thing what you need to write is what is the chain of responsibilities meaning and then you have to draw a neat diagram and then you have to write some applications for that as well. Okay. So the first thing what you have to write is I'll be going through the points. Make sure you note down these points. It avoids coupling of the sender secret with the receiver. There is a sender and there is the receiver. In chain of responsibilities, these two, these two things will be there. And chain of responsibilities avoids the coupling of the sender and the re uh, receiver. Okay. And it uh, gives more than one object to handle the request. There are multiple things happening. So it will uh, give more than one object to handle the request. And uh, the, it is a, like a chain, right? So the ch uh, request gets passed into the chain as uh, one by one. And it gets passed till the end. Whenever an object can handle it, it will stop. And it is motivated by the vending uh, machine uh, coin slots. It can handle more than one request at a time. When it is uh, useful uh, it, to issue a request, one of the several objects just specifying the uh, receiver explicitly, it's just like a broadcast. You are not specifying the receiver, but you are sending it to all, right? And set of objects that handle request should be dynamically specified. It should be uh, whoever is going to handle the object should be dynamic. Why? Because it's not set who is going to handle the object, so it should be dynamic. Okay. And the structure is as follows. Here you have to draw the client first, and then you will have to uh, do the handler and the handle request. And this is the successor. You have to draw an uh, arrow like that. Then you have two more things here: concrete handler one, concrete handler two. Both of these hand have the uh, call to the function handler request and handler request. Okay. And the applications of it is two chain of responsibilities. The first is the Mac app, and second is the uh, Semantics TCL library. That's all. Make sure you like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.